Hello everybody, I am Sam 15 the Dragon Team here today, and uh, today welcome to another, epi another episode of Pave uh, Alternative um, Alternative Rock Talk, or Alternative Talk, where each and every single, every, which uh, at least once or twice a month, we talk about something new in the alternative music genre, or something, or an album that I like, or an art, or a uh, particular band I like, or an album that I want to review, and this is... A, a album review of uh, Young the Giant's new CD, Mind Over Matter. And um, for those who are clicking one of my videos for the first time, uh, this is the only picture you'll receive. There are no fancy images. I won't show you any clips from uh, any of the videos. And I won't even sh show you any song. It will, uh, let you listen to any of the songs because YouTube is a butt. Um, so, yeah, you're just hearing my voice and seeing the, the album artwork. For uh, Young the Giant's new CD, uh, new CD, Mind Over Matter, and it's not I'm not doing the stunt stint remix. I'm just doing the regular because um, I couldn't find the regular artwork album for the artwork for the album that was not too big for for me to uh, uh, do it uh, with my cheap stuff. And furthermore, I just did not notice I had stint stint remix until right before I clicked play. <laughs> So without further ado, let's dive right into uh, what I think of the uh, album. Now, this album is their second, is Young the Giant's second al album, and uh, their first album was their self-titled one, and it was a pretty good, pretty huge hit with the alternative music genre, and got a few plays here and there within uh, some, within some more mainstream, well, uh, in the more mainstream, and furthermore, it got it looked fairly popular on uh, some of the yeah one or two of the songs were in movies and it was just they were fairly popular they were not they're not one of the biggest uh, alternative groups of the two thousand of uh, the early two thousands but they're very much so a staple uh, the actually I would say they're probably one of the bigger ones in the alternative music genre but they're not as big as say. Uh, the Black Keys, or Awol Nation, or Imagine Dragons, especially the Imagine Dragons. But this is a very good album, anyway. They're a very good group, anyway. And if you know Young the Giant, if you if you're even somewhat current with the alternative uh, genre, you know who Young the Giant is. Um, they're they pretty, they have made a fairly big name for themselves within the genre within a short period of time. However, one of the things that hurts this album, uh, this, uh, this, this group, is that there's a four year difference between the two albums. Their self-titled album came out in, uh, in 2010, and this one came out in 2014. And that's not exactly the best thing in the world, honestly. You don't want, want to have such a huge gap between albums, a four year gap, that's almost half a decade decade and that's not good. Two or three years is average for most groups to uh, between albums and just most artists in general. Four years is yeah and that's why the first song that, that came on the radios and on uh, alternative radio stations is uh, is about time is very fitting. Um, their first album had Harmon, my uh, cough syrup and uh, Uh, my body, well, well, apartment, my body, and cough syrup, and this album has, it's about time and mind over matter that have made immediate success. Uh, both of these songs are fairly when uh, about this time uh, last year, mind over, uh, it's about time started making some uh, appearances on uh, alternative radio stations, and mind over matter came shortly. And throughout the the next uh, year or two, I think that you'll probably hear a few hear a few more songs on uh, alternative radio stations. Um, Mind over matter, and it's about time to get some play on, on mainstream radio, but it's definitely not as big as a hit yet, I believe, as um some as their other album was. But their initial album, Young the uh, Young the Giant, was. Not a big immediate success, actually. It only took, they only became a, 
the album only got really huge recognition like a year, year and a half after the album initially came out is when it got some huge play. Is when they became a huge, became more of a huge prominent name because people, their album was out long enough for more people to like have listened to it, and they realized, oh wow, this is a really good album, like I have, and uh, getting the giant second album may have the same success. May have you may have to wait a little bit before it gets some real success. Is that's sometimes how it is with an with alternative uh, music groups. That's just how it is. Sometimes, but this is a very good album. Um, the songs on this album, like I said, it's about time and mind over matter. But the other song, there's like two other songs on this album that I feel like are worth mentioning. It um, is um, Crystallize, which is their fourth song, and the fifth song, and their sixth song is um, Daydreamer. I like both of these songs very much, though, and I feel like they may get some one of those one or two of those songs may get some. Uh, Mainstream success. Anagram might as well, but I don't know. Uh, the other songs on the list, for the most part, kind of filler ish. I mean, that's how it was for me with the uh, their, their first album as well. The first part of the album, the first six songs were great, but the next, like, six songs were just kind of, you know, felt to me they were kind of just space, taking space up because they could. I mean, they're good songs ish for, like, an album but I wasn't crazy about them and I felt like I didn't feel like from start to finish I liked the whole entire album because the good songs on the on that album were one two track one two and four you know on this album it's tracks three four five and six <laughs> and Anagram's no uh, joke either after that you just kind of Track number one is actually is kind of the intro of sorts. It's 48 seconds long. Um, you can when you first play, you don't even know it's playing. It's like half like near the end. It just kind of leads into anagram. And um, yeah, the first uh, the first five actual songs of the album are great by all means, but I just don't think the, the rest of the song live, was up to par. That's just, kind of the problem I have with Young the Giant's first album and definitely with the second one. And with the third album, when their third album eventually comes out, if they do do a third one, which I think they will do, um, is I think that they should space some of the good songs out a little bit and not have them all in the, free, in the first four or five tracks, seriously. Space them out. You don't ever really want to put all the great, all the big hit songs that you think will be on the radio stations right a, like within the first half of the album you know because at that point what's the point of just listening to the rest of the album you know that's how I felt with the first one and, and that's how I kind of felt with the second one however I do think this the uh, filler and mind over matter is better than the first album I will do I think I, I do agree with that is their first is mind over matter better than their uh, debut album album I don't think so I think it's almost as good but I don't think the second one lives too much up to the uh, expectations I was going into this album. Because one bad thing is about having a four year hiatus between albums is because after three years, the fans start getting more hyped. With every year that they go, get, goes past, there's more hype and more expectation from the fans building up into that album. And when you listen to the album, it's almost kind of dis disappointing. I'm not exactly disappointed, but I'm not blown away either. I'm just kind of meh, and that's. I feel like I might have liked the album a little, little better if I did not come in with hype and hope and expectations, and that was the problem. I feel, I felt is that the hiatus was a little bit too long. But the album itself is actually a pretty decent album. It's a pretty good album for all, you know, an alternative speaking. To be honest. It's a good album. I will not deny that. It's it's by no means a bad album. It's a pretty good album, for, and you know, their second album's not too much of a, a, a you know, it's it's Young the Giant. You know, I feel like they pretty much lived up to most of their expectations. I believe. I just felt like they maybe should have released this album 
last year. Or, you know, they should have released this album in 2012. Hey, that's how I feel like it should have been. That's how I really feel like this album would have had a little bit more success two years ago. Maybe, fun, maybe a year and a half ago, but I still think that this album was a little late, you know? But that's just me. Um, that's just my opinion. I do still like the group as much as I did going into the album. Uh, this album, well, the only thing it changes for me in terms of liking and the giant is make me more anticipated for the next album. You know, there's some great songs on this album. Don't even my favorite song on this uh, album is probably my is probably uh, Daydreamer. That's my favorite. Pers that's probably my personal favorite song on the album. But I like that song a lot. That's my personal favorite song. Was uh was a uh, cough syrup off the first album, and I feel like my my uh, the Daydreamer is. Actually, my favorite song by them in general now. Uh, I do believe if you like Young the Giant, you will like this album. If you do like some of the new alternative, the like this, this some of the new alternative, like have a kind of poppy sound to it, I guess, then you'll definitely like Young the Giant as well. Uh, it's a good album for Young the Giant. Like I said before, uh, good songs. Um, one of the problems, another problem I felt was like, run track I believe eight to ten I feel like yeah I think it was like uh number nine or ten that I thought it was like the end no it was number eight that I feel like that it was a little too long that song because all right this is the last song they album I think is it no 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 it's not they have a bunch more songs left to go oh and I think that's part of the reason why you know I felt like there's nothing really good. I mean, it's decent. It's solid. It's solid filler stuff on you would expect, you know. Um, I like the. I actually do like the intro, to be honest. The the number one track, Slow Dive. I do like that. It's a nice build up into Anagram. It's a nice. When I first heard it, I'm like, is this the album playing? <laughs> like, no, it is playing, and like, it got me hyped. And Anagram got me hyped for the album. And it's about time, and Crystal, as a mind over matter, and Daydreamer just kept that going, that momentum going. And then in track 7, just kind of stopped. It just really just hit a brick wall. Um, so tracks 1 through 6 is pretty much what you really want to listen to. The rest of the album is just kind of meh. But, you know, have 6 good songs, you know. You have six, 5 or 6 good songs, and that's pretty good. I'm not even going to lie, that's, that's decent. You know, I just wish they kind of spread it out throughout the album a little bit, you know. That's my big issue with this album. Now, I probably said this a good 500 times, and now the album, this video is going a little too long, just hearing me ramble and repeat myself. So, I do believe this is a pretty good album. Despite the several flaws I had, some of the stuff I, I felt was wrong with the album, it is a fairly good album. But... It's a good it's a good way to continue uh, the momentum of Young the Giant. I feel like there will be a prominent uh, alternative group throughout the 2000s. I think this might be one of their uh, lower albums a little bit. Not necessarily, I think, in terms of just album alone. If you don't think of the whole entire songs on the, the good songs, or just in like albums as a whole, this might be a bit lower. But hopefully they learn from their mistakes and spread it out through the, throughout the album. But the four good, four or five good songs do make up for the fact that they're not spread out, and I do like the the songs that are the the first half of the album very much so, actually more so than the uh, first half of uh, their first day de their debut album. So um, I do like this album. The last album, their debut album, I gave like an eight point two, though I never did a review official review on that. And this album, I'm gonna do a seven a seven point eight. Um, I do feel like there's plenty of improvements they could do. Um, I do like, actually, yeah, 7.8, I think it's, no, 7.6, yeah. But I do like this album a lot. This was a good album. Um, so yeah, that's my review. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me even rambling like that.
So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys uh, next time.